Look, I'd never been confronted with almost certain death. That's full of, you know, where life is so precarious and so uncertain. Mm. I've obviously treated a lot of people and worked with people who do. I mean, I've got to be clear, I was a clinical doctor and then I became a research doctor. So mm. I haven't been a clinical doctor for quite a while, mm. but I was originally. Um, so I'm not one of these people with 8 million case studies of fascinating people. But I guess I found the experience of having a serious disease that I hope doesn't kill me, but it probably well, certainly there's a very high chance it will. Mm. Um, but there is some chance it won't. I get, I get hit by a milk trolley. <laughs> um, I often think that, by the way, when I'm crossing the road. I think no one's going to thank me if I <laughs> get hit by a car at this point. I mean, it wasn't the experience I was expecting. That's, that's the thing. I, I guess I, like every other person on the planet, looked at people with the condition I've got, advanced cancer, and was, you know, had pity, mm. was sorry for them, sort of imagined it would never be me very othering, you know, like seeing them as other people. And then I found the experience really surprisingly, oh, when I say it was okay, it wasn't like I'm thrilled I've got it, I can tell you, but, but at the same time, it just wasn't as anything like what I had in my mind. It was a completely different experience. Mm. And I guess I wanted to, to tell people about that because, mm. because I, death is something that happens, it happens all the time. Mm. And and suffering happens, and um, you know I've been in pain a lot now, unfortunately. Um, and even that, I mean, it's, I don't like it. I can tell you, I hate pain. Mm. But all the experience of this, I feel like I couldn't have really got another way. Like mm. facing these things is quite interesting. Mm. So and I try to bring all my education. All the, you know, I've had so much privilege education-wise. You know, I've done all these different degrees and I've got, I've lived all over the world and I don't know. I just feel like if I can bring my experience to help people see a different way of thinking about uh, serious illness, hmm. that could be useful. And I mean, you know, there's obviously a slightly pressing thing that if I am going to only, if, if I'm not going to live very long, for me personally, I want to leave something behind. You yeah. know, I thought I'd have another 40 years to leave something behind. Mm. And I may, I may do, but I probably won't. Mm. Um, I'm saying that because I'm firmly keeping myself on the straight and narrow line that it is possible to get better, because I believe it is. Mm. Whether I can pull that one off, I don't know. Mm. But, and that's part of it, of course, is mm. how do you play with that uncertainty, the wanting to um, give yourself the best chance. Mm. 